Howdy, fellow YouTubers. My name is Bo. Oh, I'm straight. And today, I'm here to show you the program that I use uh, for mixing my voice. Now, this program that I'm using is called FL Studio. This is the signature version, uh, which uh, two years ago, somewhere around that, I bought for uh, $300. And I think I ended up spending a lot less than that because they had some promotional deals and I just couldn't pass them up. I think it ended up being 260 Uh And I have loved this program. I'm in music production. This program is a godsend dream. If you are using a Windows computer, this is by far the program that you should be using. Uh, there, there are other computers or other, <laughs> other computers. There are other uh, thingamajiggers. There are other DAW programs for... Mac, but uh, this is the most used one on PC as far as I know. Now, what exactly is going on right here? Well, right now uh, I have my input, which comes from my microphone, which is a Blue Yeti, as you can see on this list, Blue Yeti, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then what it does is it comes here and then it outputs through an output on my computer and then I just run that output back into my computer and I can use it as an input for say OBS which is the program that I'm using to record this right now. This is a great program and I would suggest it to anyone. Uh, the reason that I use this program in instead of like an actual piece of hardware uh, is mainly because it's it's like a virtual workstation where if, if I'm recording I can I can change something like right now uh, I'm running through a uh, there it goes. I'm I'm running my voice through a what is this called? A friggin' it's a it's an equalizer. And right now I kind of boost the bass, bring down the mids, and uh, I actually should bump up the highs just a little bit more. Uh, but if I were to turn this off, this is what my voice would sound like. And turn it back on because my voice sounds awful with that. And it overall, th this is a really cool tool for when you're trying to make your voice sound a lot more professional if you don't have a super pro professional mic uh, which the Blue Yeti is nowhere near a super professional mic when I bought the Blue Yeti it was only 150 and you know to, to get the quality that I'm squeezing out of this program uh, the microphone that you'd have to use would be well over to 250 so this this program has helped me in that retrospect but the one that I use the most is this one right here this one's called Fruity Limiter and what this program allows me to do is you'll notice that this little white bar right here, that's it's adjusting my volume as I go uh, so that, I, one, I don't get clipping, say that I yell really loud. Uh, of course, you know, the microphone that I have does have a gain limit, so if I yell too loud, my microphone will crackle and pop and overrun and do all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, but I have the, the gain on my microphone turned all the way down, and I use this program to, uh, to, to filter out all that different stuff. And the, the, the purple right here is I, I turn the gain up really loud so that if I talk really soft like this, it kind of equals out all the rest of it because say when someone's talking they'll get really loud like right now you'll notice that it's really freaking but you don't actually hear it getting louder in your headphones or whatever you're viewing it from from, from uh, because it is running through this program and it's adjusting the volume accordingly you'll notice that when I yell really loud this white bar goes really far down <laughs> Not to mention if I stay quiet, you'll notice that the the bar goes all the way off. Just like that. So that way, uh, say that you have some kind of background noise, you can try and limit that. Uh, I have found that to be difficult in some scenarios because say that you have a sound that it, it's, it's very present even when you are talking. Uh, you, you may want to turn this off. Uh, for like five seconds at the beginning or th at the end of a recording and then turn it back on because uh, you can use audacity I'm not sure how to do it in this program, but in audacity they have a noise removal and that works very well And I, uh, I I tend to use that often sometimes I'll have a weird buzz that I have no idea what's what's going on in the background and actually I'm looking at it right now and I may actually have a buzz in this video so I'll have to make sure that at the end of this thing of a jigger that I do that so that's what this program is. Uh, right now, I, I use two uh, mixer thingies, uh, whatever these are called, and 
yeah, this, this, this is how I record my voice, and anyone who does anything should probably do this too. I'm not saying that you have to. Uh, I I would think if you if you kind of have a lower end computer, using other hardware to do what I'm doing right now probably would be a fairly good idea. I have an i5 2300 uh, K in my computer right now, so I don't really have that big of a problem with uh, with you know clipping and all this other crap. And it's overall a great program. Do note that if your microphone is being used by other programs, this program cannot use this, use it because this program uses a driver set called Osseo V2, and Osseo V2 is is very uh, how do how do you say the thing that I'm trying to say right now? It's very universal when it comes to a lot of things, uh, except except with nothing. And it's a it's overall a great driver set, and very rarely do I ever have problems. Uh, sometimes my microphone will glitch out, and it has nothing to do with the program. And my microphone will all of a sudden go. So I, <laughs> uh, you know, if I if you were to to actually uh, see, you could actually see that in in this little fruity limiter thing right here. You could actually see, or up here, uh, you can see. The, the chick 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 sounds which is really nice especially when you're recording uh, that you can actually see your audio so that you know if something's wrong oh I, I should probably try and fix that before I continue and so this program has saved me a lot of times on that not to mention you know this program is a fairly expensive program for all the programs that are out there but it is by far the best not not only is this program used for what I'm doing but you can use it for music production this is a DAW program so it's pretty universal when it comes to any other music making thing out there. So if you're into making music, this is and, and you have a PC, uh, this is this is the program that you're gonna want to go out and get. In fact, uh, I've I've been with uh, FL Studio for so long that uh, I have an affiliate program, and if you want to click the link below, uh, you can buy it at a 10% discount, and I get a little money as well. So uh, that that is a really cool promotional thing that they do. If you do buy FL Studio and are a fairly loyal customer, then uh, you, you can become an affiliate and do, do stuff like I'm doing right now. Th but th this program is the greatest thing ever. I'm not sure what I would do without this program. This, this program fixes a lot of issues that I've had in the past with recording uh, and it certainly decreases uh, post-production you know when when you're in you know your editing software of choice and you want to say sound correct your voice this program does it on the fly so that you don't have to do it later just do make sure is something that a lot of people don't actually know. If you're recording with any software, you have to make sure that you time sync first. You know, do like a one, two, three, one, two, three, and make sure that visually it matches up. Or, you know, if you're doing actual video, do a, a clap. And it just sometimes programs screw up. And the, it's, it's just a way to, to keep everything in line. With this program comes a, a weird lag type thing. So if you're listening to it live, like uh, if I come here, uh, usually I'll outport this to something that I have in my computer so that I can listen to my voice live. But it's not really live. It's usually at a delay just because of how FL Studio works sometimes. If you're using this normal sound driver that you're using for other stuff, then there is a lag. If you actually dedicate a sound card to FL Studio, there is no lag lag whatsoever it is instant and I love that about this program overall I haven't had any real compatibility issues with this program uh, I would highly suggest it to anyone thank you all for watching don't forget if you do want to buy this program I do have an affiliate link in the description below if you made it this part of the video please put the word bicarbonates b-i-c-a-r-b-o-n-a-t-e-s in your comment in the comment section below so that I know that you watch the video all the way to the end and are the best viewer and subscriber ever thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe really help me and my channel out that is all. <laughs>